Welcome back to The Hide. We are back out again for another bolt gun review. And yes, it has been a minute since I have had a bolt gun on the channel. And if you guys have been following The Hide for any length of time, this is basically what I started my channel with, was reviewing bolt guns on the bench. That is by far my most favorite style of shooting, my most favorite thing to do as far as firearms. But just been kind of trying to diversify the channel a little bit, get some different content on. So bolt guns have kind of taken a step back a little bit. However, I seen this one online and I thought to myself, you know, that would be a good one to bring back. It's different enough in the caliber choice, which I'll tell you guys here in just a second, that it might get some views and give you all a little bit of data on the particular caliber and rifle combination. So as you can tell, you know, just face value, this is a standard Savage Axis standard Savage Axis battery of arms. However, this is an Axis 2, so it does come with the, uh, the AccuTrigger, so that's definitely nice. Let's go ahead and double check clear here, which it is. We're good to go there. Let's go ahead and get a pull weight on this for you guys while we're talking about the trigger. And I have not adjusted it. This is out of the box. So we have got just a smidge over four pounds, and I would probably agree with that. It is a little little on the heavy side for the AccuTrigger. You might be able to take that down a little bit. It's definitely possible. This one here is a dealer exclusive. So it was sold as a package. It came with a three to nine power Bushnell, which I took off because I wanted something with a little more magnification, but it does come with something that you can, that you can at least get it out to the range and shoot with. But it has the two piece bases, which I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but kind of an FYI, after 2021, the Savage Axis uses a different screw pattern, size of screw. They use like a, a five millimeter screw now. So the older Savage Axis bases will not fit. So if you have a newer Savage Axis, make sure you're getting or buying the correct bases if you want to go with a standard one piece base, which I would, I would highly advocate. I love a one piece base, even though the Axis action is enclosed. But, you know, one-piece bases, they just make me happy. But uh, standard tank safety on the back, Tupperware polymer stock, you know, nothing really out of the way there. It does have a newer style magazine in it, little detachable box mag. However, it only holds three rounds. This is kind of a bummer. So with that being said, can you guess, if you've seen the YouTube short on this, you already know which caliber it is. But, drum roll pre please, we have six millimeter arc. So, been kind of wanting to try this caliber, but didn't really want to add another AR caliber to the stable. So, I seen this, you know, win-win. Definitely gives us something different to review. However, this does have a, what they call a heavy barrel. It is threaded, 5 8 24. And these come in right around uh, 430 bucks. So, like I said, I did put the, the, the different scope on there. And these are just some Leopold Rifleman rings to get us going. Does come with... Sling studs forward and aft. Really nice squishy butt pad on the back here. And overall, I mean, it's 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 a standard Savage Axis. Nothing really to write home about other than I will say, if you guys watched, uh, it's probably been a couple years ago now, I did review the Savage Axis Heavy Barrel in 223, and that thing shot lights out. So I'm really anxious to see what this will do in the six millimeter caliber. So I did pick up We've got Hornady Black, 105 grain boat tail hollow point. I've got some Hornady V match. So this is an 80 grain ELD varmint, maybe? I haven't seen that before. And then we've got just Hornady match. So this is 108 grain ELD. And I think, no, it doesn't have the BC listed on here, but 108 grain six millimeter ELD is probably, I mean, it's gotta be well over 0.5, I would imagine. So this has got some serious BC for what, what, you're, what, what you're getting. You know, the size of the round itself. It's very, very comparable to that of 6.5 Grindle. However, it's just a little bit shorter. And of course you're getting that really nice six millimeter projectile. And there are a ton of loading options with six millimeter. So really, really anxious to see what this thing is going to do on the bench. I have not shot it yet, so we are going to find out together. But uh, let me reposition the camera. I'm going to get the target cam set up. We'll get us a piece of paper stuck on the backstop. We'll start sending some lead downrange. 
All right, so we've got our target set up down at 110 yards. We're gonna shoot five shots each of these loads. I'll let the barrel cool in between each five shot set. I've got the first three rounds of our Hornady Black, the 105 grain boat tail hollow point. This has an advertised velocity of 2750 at the muzzle. We'll uh, see what we can do here at 110. You guys can follow along. So I will have to load those other two after we get the first three done. So stand by. All right, there's our first three. We gotta load up our other two here. Get that set. Hopefully don't, don't mess up our string. All right, last two. That looked too bad. Those first three shots were really nice. But having to take the mag out and stick our other two shots in kind of broke it a little bit, but not too bad. Let's uh, let this barrel cool for a couple of minutes and then we'll try five of the V match. All right, first three rounds loaded up over 80 grain. This is the ELD VT six millimeter arc from hornady the v match so i have never shot any of that stuff before in anything so we'll see what uh what it can do at 110. <laughs> Recoil cool is very negligible hardly any at all really easy to stay in the scope those two or three rather let's get our last two loaded up in the magazine here and see what we can do final shot of the 80 grain Looks like we had that very first shot possibly that got away from us there a little bit. But let's let that barrel cool and we'll try our last group. All right, we got our next three rounds loaded in the magazine here. So this is the just the Hornady match. This is 108 grain ELD. First three shots and then we'll load our last two in and see how we do.
All right, our final two. Last shot. Okay, so I'm gonna run down, I'm gonna grab our target. We'll see what kind of group damage we did down there and we'll get some final thoughts on the rifle itself. All right, so ran down, snagged our target, marked it up here real quick for us. So our very first shot with the Hornady Black. So this stuff here, the 105 grain boat tail hollow point. So this stuff is just a hollow point projectile. You see there? And this stuff printed 0.811, so at 110 yards, that is sub-MOA. Next group was the Hornady V-Match. This was the 80-grain ELD VT. We had 1.043, bit of a pullage there, and that's just, that right there is, is me. I, I just do that. I don't know why. But until I get settled down with a rifle and get some time behind a trigger, I always tend to pull one right. But nonetheless, I mean, we all know I can't shoot, so take this all with a grain of salt. But still, under sub MOA, because this is at 110 yards. And then finally, we had the Hornady Match. So this stuff is the 108 grain ELD. So we showed... Just barely under an inch, 0.976 inches at 110 yards. So the rifle can shoot. The rifle can definitely shoot. Now, one thing I did want to point out, this magazine, this magazine sucks. This magazine is absolutely terrible. It is flimsy. It's very hard to get the rounds in. And if you guys are looking towards one of these for maybe a hunting application, be very cautious whenever you're inserting that mag that you get that back end up there all the way before you put that front in and snap it because if not you can do that and it won't pick up around and then this bottom part as you can see it's kind of hanging down a little bit the bolt won't be able to strip around out of the magazine so that could definitely cost cost you your uh, prized buck or whatever it is that you're uh, trying to hunt secondly on this rifle this is probably the grittiest axis action i have felt this one is really really bad um not really sure what the deal with that is i did put a little um clp on this of course before i shoot it before i shoot any gun i always run a patch down the barrel and just a little bit of lube on the bolt just to kind of help it along with the initial review but um that may you know streamline itself out over over some rounds it's definitely a possibility i've have had rifles do that in the past but um i mean overall i can't really say too much bad about this given the price it is less than 500 bucks and you do get a scope with this package you can find it online i'll see if i can get the model number and post it the only place i have been able to find this is at um fins fish and feathers or something like that online i'm probably saying those uh names incorrectly in in the wrong order but it's uh they're online that's actually where i picked was able to pick this one up but they are a dealer exclusive rifle so you can't really just go into your normal gun shop and pick one up but overall i mean the rifle did shoot good i'd been wanting to try six millimeter arc so it was a kind of a, a win-win, kill two birds with one stone sort of thing. I don't honestly know if I will keep this rifle at the hide. I don't really think it serves any purpose for me other than just review material. But um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Uh, honestly, for, for what I do, my, uh, my 223 bolt guns with a proper 77 or 69 grain loading does everything I need it to do out to 500 yards, so especially in my Model 12. But um, I'd be really interested to hear your guys' thoughts on that and on this rifle. Is this something you guys think you might be interested in? They sell these in a, in a host of different calibers. It's just finding them in stock. You can get these in, in 223. I know they have them in 6.5 Creed, but this one here is a little bit different because I don't know if you noticed this, but this is actually a 16 and a half inch barrel, which makes this actually kind of cool. 
Um, it is threaded, so you could suppress it really easily and still not have that much of a, um, you know, a, a, a length issue. So as it's configured right now with this particular buttstock it comes with from the factory, it's right at about 38 and a half inches in total length. So very maneuverable rifle for sure. But um, fun review. Glad I finally got to get some 6mm art content on here for you guys. But let me know down in the comments what you think. Uh, if you're new to the channel... I know a lot of you guys have not subscribed. Help a guy out and let's get those sub numbers up. I can't do it without you all. And as always, shoot straight. Later.